cooperative bank's net profits for the year ended December 2021 jumped 52% to 16.5 billion shillings on improved lending and the acquisition of Kingdom Bank. Also, KCB subsidiary National Bank posted 1.1 billion shillings in profit after tax for the full year of 2021, this representing a 431% increase from 2020. Faisal Ahmed has more on this and the financial reports of other companies. Cooperative Bank posted a 53% jump in full-year profits to December 2021 to 16.5 billion shillings from 10.8 billion shillings in 2020 on improved income with the Board of Directors approving a one-shilling final dividend payout. Net interest income grew by 13% to 41 billion shillings while non-funded income grew by 11% to 19 billion shillings. The lender which bought Jamie Bora Bank and renamed it Kingdom Bank says that the new subsidiary gross profits have crossed the half a billion shilling mark. Still on subsidiaries, NBK, which is a subsidiary of KCB Bank, posted a 1.1 billion shilling profit after tax for the full year 2021, representing a 431% increase from 2020, helped by increased income from loan interests and foreign exchange trading, coupled with lower loan loss provision. The bank's management attributed the strong financial results to its deliberate focus on its strategic initiatives, which are anchored on customer experience. Also, CIC Group bounced back to profitability in 2021 with full year profits of 668.4 million shillings compared to a loss of 296.8 million shillings in 2020. The turnaround is attributed to improving income from underwriting over the last 12-month cycle. CIC total income grew by 14.3% in the year to 19.2 billion shillings from 16.8 billion shillings. And finally, manufacturer Carbacid Investments posted a 71% profit jump in the half-year profits to January 2022 with earnings of 360.7 million shillings from 210.4 million shillings in 2020, improved by higher sales. Turnover increased by 56% to 701.6 million shillings compared to 449.7 million shillings in 2020. However, the manufacturer will not issue an interim dividend to its shareholders. Faisal Ahmed, Citizen TV, Nairobi.